हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन अ लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फ्रैक्शन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन दैट इज देयर आर सिक्स टाइप ऑफ फ्रैक्शन आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द अनलाइक एंड द लाइक फ्रैक्शंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रॉपर इम्प्रॉपर मिक्स्ड एंड इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन so what do you mean by proper fraction proper fraction are those in which the numerator is generally less than the denominator in which the numerator is less than the denominator for example 1 by 4 is a proper fraction or 3 by 4 is a proper fraction but 5 by 4 is not a proper fraction so the value of proper fraction is always less than 1 and the number 1 represent the whole number so it it is generally less than 1 the fraction is generally less than 1 so it is called a proper fraction example of proper fraction is 4 by 5 it indicates that 4 out of 5 equal parts it is not like 5 by 4 it cannot be like that that 5 by 4 5 by 4 if it is written then 5 out out of four equal parts so in which it is not possible but in the proper fraction it is the numerator is always less than the denominator so 4 by 5 is a good example of the proper fraction you can take 6 by 7 is also an example of proper fraction now the second one is improper fraction fraction in which the numerator is is greater than the denominator then it is called an improper fraction like 7 by 6 is a improper fraction example 5 by 4 indicates 5 Five out of four equal parts, which is not uh, not possible, so it is called a improper fraction. The value of an improper fraction is always greater than one. So the value of improper fraction is always greater than one. Uh, the value of improper fraction is always greater than one or equal to one. So here five by four, you can see the new nu numerator is greater than the de denominator, so it is an improper fraction. now we'll talk about what do you mean by mixed fraction mixed fraction is an improper fraction indicates impossible distribution so you when you see 5 by 4 so it it is said that it is not a proper fraction it is an improper fraction when we will interpret the improper fraction it will be a mixed fraction that is a whole number and a proper fraction so improper fraction indicates impossible distribution and mixed fraction helps us to interpret the improper fraction it's a whole number and numerator divided by denominator so we will interpret 5 by 4 as a mixed fraction how we will do 5 by 4 so you have to divide 5 divided by 4 so ones are four so one one is the remainder so you can write one divided by four one so this is a mixed fraction you can see here this is a this is a whole number this numerator and this is the denominator so it can be written when it is interpreted it can be written as one one by four where one is a whole number and 1 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator this is a mixed fraction this is a mixed fraction which is a whole number followed by a proper fraction it you have to convert this mixed fraction this is a mixed fraction 6 4 by 5 is a mixed fraction you can see here 6 is a whole number 4 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator you have to convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction how you will do 6 Four by five. How you will do six fives are thirty. Okay, six into five plus four. So six five the thirty. Thirty plus four is equal to thirty four divided by five. So this is a. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. This is the numerator and this is the denominator, and the numerator is greater than the denominator, so it is a improper 
fraction so the conversion uh, question can also come so you can convert in this way pro improper fraction to pro uh, to a mixed fraction and mixed fraction to an improper fraction you can convert by this way now what is equivalent fraction fraction that represent the same proportion of the whole is called an equivalent fraction for example uh, in a slab if you will cut into two parts it will be one by two and if you will cut into four parts and you will segregate two you will give two parts to one people and two parts to another people it will all always be the same so here you can see a slab is there and you have we have divided into half so one by two so half is shaded here we have divided into four equal parts but we have taken two out of four and it is same as one by two so one two by four and it is same the so only the half is shaded even if you have divided the slab into four equal parts the example is there which is undone so we will do it uh, the question is make the equivalent fraction of 1 by 6 where the new denominator is 30 so how to do the denominator should be 30 1 by 6 how to make 30 denominator is 30 so 30 divided by 6 is 5 so 6 into 5 is equal to 30 so if you will multiply the denominator by 5 the upper one should also be multiplied by 5 so it is 5 by 30 so this is the fraction this is the answer and this is the fraction where 5 is the numerator and 30 is the denominator. By this way you can convert what convert into where whatever it is given whether the numerator it, they are asking for or they are asking for to make changes in the denominator and this is the equivalent fraction make an equivalent fraction of 4 by 9 where the numerator is 28 how to make numerator 28 here? 4 by 9 how to make numerator 28 so 28 if you will divide by 4 it will be 7 is 28 so 4 into 7 is equal to 28 so upper one you have you have multiplied by 7 so lower one also you have to multiply by 7 and it will be 7 9 is 63 so the fraction that is equivalent to this fraction is 28 by 63 so you can say 26 by 63 is equi so so 26 28 by 63 is equivalent to the fraction 4 by 9 so by this way you can convert the equivalent fraction whatever question is given. So today we studied about the four type of fraction that is proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction and about the equivalent fraction. Thank you.